Hey, what's up everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, August 22nd. In 1846, the annexation of New Mexico, as the U.S. and Mexico were at war over territory in the Southwest, U.S. General Stephen Kearney, after marching on and occupying Santa Fe, declares New Mexico a U.S. territory. In 1849, as the Republic of Venice was in a conflict with Austria, one of the first ever air raids in history is launched when the Austrians launched some 200 balloons filled with explosives. The explosives did minimal damage, however. In 1865, William Shepard received the U.S. patent for liquid soap. The product was made by dissolving solid soap in water, then adding ammonia to the mixture until it thickened up to a consistency similar to that of molasses. In 1894, while in South Africa, and with aim to establish an organization to help fight racial discriminations against Indian traders and workers, Mahatma Gandhi forms the NIC, the Natal Indian Congress. In 1902, while in Connecticut on a tour, President Theodore Roosevelt became the first sitting president to publicly ride in an automobile. The automobile was a Columbia Electric Victoria Phaeton, which could go about 13 miles per hour. In 1951, in a time when Germany was split in half, to help promote democracy and to help counteract a communist youth rally in East Germany, coordinated by the U.S. State Department, the Harlem Globetrotters Basketball Club play a game at Berlin Stadium with some 75,000 in attendance. In 1956, at the Republican National Convention, the Republican Party nominates Dwight D. Eisenhower for a presidential run and his VP running mate Richard Nixon in the 1956 election, incumbent Eisenhower would defeat Democrat Adlai Stevenson for the second straight election. In 1986, based on the novel The Body by widely acclaimed author Stephen King, the 80s classic film Stand By Me, directed by Rob Reiner, starring River Phoenix, Will Wheaton, Corey Feldman, and Jerry O'Connell, is released in U.S. theaters. In 1989, one of the most dominant pitchers ever, The Express, Nolan Ryan of the Texas Rangers at Arlington Stadium strikes out Ricky Henderson of the Oakland A's to become the first in MLB history to reach 5,000 strikeouts. Also in 1989, Huey P. Newton, African-American activist and co-founder of the Black Panther Party, is shot to death in a high crime area of West Oakland, California. Newton was 47 years old. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. Please have a nice weekend. Um, be safe out there. Help each other out when you can. And bless up.